stands for the, the Club of Ghosts. Um, artist, producer, dreamist, realist, you name it, whatever. I uh, like to produce hip hop music, soulful music, um, experimental music, RB, Neo Soul, just. Just, just music, you know what I mean? I, I, it, whatever I'm feeling at the time, I try to express it throughout my music, whether it's singing, whether it's rapping, or whatever you want to call it. You know, that's what I do. So, yeah, that's what DCG is. Uh, how long have I been creating music? Woo, man. I'm going to say, um, I've been in a band since nine years old. So we're talking the 80s. Kind of give away my age a little bit. We're talking 80s. Pa was a drummer. Used to be around the crib, banging on walls, banging on books, drumsticks. Just always making beats, you know what I mean? Whether it was in my head, whether it was writing down, I was like, whatever. I was always, you know, boom, 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 pop, boom, pop, boom, 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 pop. And it, it, it's just, this is something I've been doing ever since. Um, had a terrific band teacher, Mr. Bennett, rest in peace. You know, teaching me how to like do certain things like count. I didn't even know how to count. I didn't even know I was counting at the time. I just knew he used to make us count. And I'd be like, man, what the heck am I? You know, what the, what's the purpose of that? I just want to bang. But when you started, you start producing and making music, all that stuff comes in handy. It came in handy. And it's like, you can tell that a lot of people didn't have that training. So, yeah, I've been making music for, uh, let's say, I'm gonna say, over 20 years. Over 20 years. From beginning to now, say 20 years. Uh, wow, some of my influences are James Brown, Marvin Gaye, uh, Sam Cooke, Jay Dilla, Curtis Mayfield, Pete Rock. Knots, um, Common Sense, Prince, Earth, Wind, and Fire, um, Average White Band, Dale Phonics, Drifters, uh, Five Sats. I mean, it, it's just all, I listen to all kinds of music. You know what I mean? From Nirvana to, to, uh, to, uh, it's crazy. This is a lot of people. A lot of people have influenced me. You know, a lot of people. Um, thinking of some other people I can't think of right now, but that's pretty much it. I, I have an extensive collection of music. You know, it's not just rap. It's just R&B. It's just old soul music. It's it's just an extensive collection of that. Man, influences I can say literally sometimes. I, I listen to some music and I say, damn, that's kind of how I was feeling. And it'll come out through a song that you really don't even know where it's coming at the time. You're just thinking that you're expressing yourself, but it's, it's, it's kind of something that you've heard before. This is almost like no idea, it's kind of original. You know what I mean? You, you Whatever influenced you is going to come out, even though you being you. It's kind of. It's kind of tripped out, but yeah, I, I, like I said, I got a lot of, a lot of influences, man. A lot of what sets me apart from other artists? Um, my mood, my mood changes on a daily basis. Like some days I wake up, I'm happy. Some days I wake up, I'm sad. Some days I wake up, I'm energetic. Some days I wake up and I'm just like, ah. But whatever, whatever I'm going through, I try to express it through my music. I'm the type of person that's a perfectionist and I like to have fun with it. So it's like, it's very rare that you get a cat or, or artist that produce their own music, they write their own music, they kind of mix their own music, music they, the way they want it mixed. Um, it's like you're trying to, it's like you're, 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 you're an artist and you're trying to paint a picture and you want people to get it, but even though you, you, you want people to get it, but you know most people are not going to get it. So I'm the type of artist that's just like, 
This is gonna sound kind of crazy, but I don't really care if you get it or not because it's me. You know, everything about a person you're not gonna understand. So I'm the type of artist that's like, I'm not trying to confuse you, but I'm also not trying to make you get everything I'm saying. Some some stuff I say, some things I do, you may never pick up on. Some things you may be like, damn, my 10 years from now, you say, whoa, I can't believe he was, you know, feeling that way at the time. Well, that's, you know, kind of witty how he said that. So that's what kind of separates me from, uh, from, from a lot of other artists. Because I just do me. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to sell a million records, even though that would be great. But I'm not, you know, I'm not at the point right now where I'm willing to bend and sacrifice who I am for, for, for the art. So that's what separates me from, from, from a lot of other artists. You know, when we get to favorites, a lot of people will be like, oh man, you're just so modest, la la la. But really, I can honestly say this. I don't have a favorite artist. I mean, right now, I mean, I got music. This is just a little bit of the stuff I have. I forgot to shout out Eddie Kendrick's earlier, too. Dave Ruffin. Ooh, man. That's, that's just how it goes. Like, right now, I have Eddie Kendrick's, his vintage album right here. Finish 78, great album. It's crazy. It's you see, I got me on my rings on, but whatever. And then the next album right after that is what? Eddie Harris, Love From A Horn. After that, Jerry Buck, you know what I mean? So, I don't have a, I honestly can truly say I don't have a, a favorite artist, you know what I mean? I got Thriller's album, but there's a CD, you know what I mean? I just love music, you know, and to me, there's, there's no, I don't have a favorite, I can honestly say I don't have a favorite artist, man, I just, man, I just love it all, so yeah, I don't, I don't have a favorite artist, and that's the honest to God truth. My goals with my music is just to, 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 to be heard. That's first and foremost, I want to be heard. And I want to also let people know that you don't have to look a certain way to make a certain type of music. You know what I mean? You don't have to talk about what everybody else is talking about because I think that we all have different stories to tell. We all got our own story to tell. So my goal is to tell my story. Tell my story, and I don't want to say get recognition for it, but I just want to tell my story for as long as I can. And I want to, I want to, I want to get a team of people who pretty much have the same dreams as mine. You know, just real people, down to earth people, people that got jobs, families, and they just doing music for the love not doing it to 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 get a big car or a big house or a big chain or, or, or this old little entourage. I'm, I'm a normal dude who works 50 hours a week, who got a son that's actually in the back right now getting ready for bed while I'm doing this interview. But yeah, that's that's my goal is just to be heard, man, and to let people know, hey man, whatever your dreams are, go out and achieve them regardless of what people think of you or what people think your dreams are. They your dreams, man, go get them. So that's a goal of mine, is to continue to chase my dreams and make them come true to Pretty much cleverproductions.com. I had my album in Dr. Wax in Chicago. It shut down, like, actually I had both of them over there. It shut down, um, I'm gonna say about eight months ago. Huge blow to the to the city that shot. Um, I got it up. I got it up north at a couple of shops. Um, Reckless Records, um, Gramophone Records, and damn, uh, it's another shop on the south side. Music Experience, right off Seventy Third.